anyhow, so today, on this Palm Sunday, we hear this traditional story of Jesus kind of making his way into Jerusalem during the kind of coming of Passover. And there, there's a lot in here that goes over our head because we're not familiar with first century um, ancient Near East, and we're also not very familiar with the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, with the traditions of Passover, with the symbolism that would be around um, images of Moses, as well as King David. And Matthew, we've talked about as the most Jewish of the Gospels, and is really always trying to ground Jesus in this Hebrew tradition. And so it's quoting Isaiah in here, and Zechariah, and, and um, it's sort of like when we sing, we shall overcome. When you sing that, especially if you're a person of color, so much is in there, right? We know the relationship of slavery, and we know segregation, and there's a lot of images that are connected with that. And so in the same way, when people would hear scripture back then, they would have all these associations that really are kind of lost on us. So I invite you to kind of hear this, and I'll add in a little bit as we go. When they'd come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her, and tie them and bring them to me. So right here it sounds like there's two animals, almost like Jesus is going on. It's a circus act. You know, he's got one foot on each animal, or maybe he's sitting side saddle. But really, again, um, Matthew is trying to quote Zechariah, and it's kind of more like if you were describing a person, like saying, well, she has dark blonde hair, or maybe it's light brown. You don't really need two animals, a donkey and a colt, but it kind of comes out that way. If anyone says to you, just say this, the Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. And again, it's probably not so much like Jesus, like, you know, had knew exactly what was going to happen, as Jesus had friends there, and he knew they would loan these. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophets, saying, tell the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you humble, and the word humble there is more like poor or afflicted and mounted on a donkey and on a colt, the fall of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees. There's no palms here, kind of notice that, and spread them on the road. The crowds then went ahead of him and followed, followed were shouting, Hosanna, save us to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? And the crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. 